Soldier is the Kurt Russell mega blockbuster hit movie where he showed the world talking stupid, real change comes from blowing shit up. It starts off far into the future when Kurt Russell was first born, just so there's no question. Now he's a bit older and his career's in the Disney phase where there's no room for fatties. While there was a dark period where he watched a few Seagal movies. He makes better decisions now like getting face tats and fighting face huggers. He even revolutionized war as we know it with his trademark just walk in a straight line technique. That shit completely wrecked Argentina's many moons. And even Russia in the winter with a little assist from this guy who stops the evil lady from running away. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Which earns him the distinguished Captain Ron trophy, the highest honor ever awarded outside of a bar in Thailand. Now that they've achieved world peace by killing everyone else, they pass their time by just sitting there while Chet the Rocket Steadman watches from above. Then Lionel Mandrake shows up and after complimenting me on that deep pull, has the great idea of what if we fought us? Steadman can't decide if that's the craziest idea he's ever heard or the dumbest. Either way, he's fucking in. And we're doing such wonderful things. So they pit Russell and two who gives a shit against baby Batista. British John Malkovich gives the go ahead. Get him, man! And America wins another one. <laughs> so they're all given a hero's funeral. But holy shit, Russell's not even dead. The VA really needs to get their shit together. The worst part is now he's stranded in San Francisco, which is cleaner than he remembers. Of course, the parking meters are still there and checked every 15 minutes because the motto of San Francisco is go fuck yourself. At least it can't get any worse. God damn it. Not only do we have stupid kids in this movie, but the little sh from Star Wars who's just as annoying here. Oh my God, what? Motherfucker. Like being stuck in this shithole with stupid kids forced to eat prison food isn't bad enough. Now we got this hobbit bitch writing his ass for no reason. I don't see how you can not remember how you got here. He fell from a rope while playing American Gladiators before being flushed down a giant space toilet. Perfectly normal shit. Anyways, now he has more time for his real passion, gardening. With an occasional break for outdoor indoor skydiving tug of war. Now things are going great and he's never been happier when that terrible little shit gets a gift from Santa. Merry Christmas, Sergeant! <laughs> Fuck you, Santa. That kid's bullshit. He is so pissed that he can't even finish his peanut butter jelly carrot sandwich. So he lets off some steam by beating the holy hell out of a gas tank and thinking about the good old days of Steven Seagalling entire families. Which only pisses him off more. And he's about to murder the fuck out of Santa when he realizes this incredible scarf is a gift. And Jane Lynch has never been more disappointed. Then, just because of that one little incident, and maybe a touch of trying to kill the little shitter with a snake, but mostly that one little incident, they give him the boot. We'll give you any tools you need. Some, some warm clothing. Now that you mention it, that really was a nice scarf. Fuck yeah. Now he's having a hard time coming to terms with what it means to be kicked out of San Francisco. 
He didn't even stop a crime or anything. How the f does this happen? But it doesn't matter, because it turns out he taught everyone the true meaning of Whacking Day. So now they want him back. We're sorry. We were wrong. And not a minute too soon, because the head of China is visiting or some shit. So the military is gonna murder everyone. They will be officially classifiable as hostiles. Just by being there. Which I find very hard to believe. We don't want paperwork, Captain. And now I don't. Then the movie throws us a curveball. And while we want to root for Russell, there's something about a military who designed their drop-offs like a heavily armed turtle dropping a deuce that you can't help but respect. Plus, they're just cleaning up the city. So who are the real villains? But luckily, they have a leader who's level-headed Calm down. Calm down. and gives diplomacy a chance. <laughs> That's what you f***ing get. Now everything's going great, and they're making incredible time. <laughs> when Russell flies in like Superman and slits his throat, <laughs> also just like Superman. Then this hard-working gentleman is just doing his job eliminating the three Bs. Books, bread, and little bitches. When Russell adds a fourth by blowing him the f*** up. But son of a bitch, it swerves at the last second. So I guess we'll have to go with blends him the f*** down. Now that they've won, he does what he does best. Stand around like a fucking idiot. Then he ups his game by finding the single most irritating place to stand like an idiot. And I swear to God, if he starts crying, I'm gonna lose my shit. Russell tries to salvage this by saying something awesome. I'm going to kill them all. Then immediately ruins it. Oh, sir. We're gonna pretend he called her sir sarcastically. Because they're soldiers, sir. And then it became a running joke. 17 more, sir. And, oh yeah, your dad's dead, but not before doing some freaky shit. So think about that, you movie-ruining fuckface. So, while the enemy's out there, getting their asses kicked by snakes, <laughs> the weather, <laughs> the magical fucking school bus, <laughs> and trying to put out the water with fire, Russell's out there, ripping off overrated trash like Apocalypse Now. And underrated masterpieces like Weekend at Bernie's. Then he calls your geometry teacher a bitch by shooting him square in the chest from directly above. Which causes them to forget they have guns. And when they investigate all the hootin' and hollerin', they get lit the fuck up. But baby Batista doesn't have time for all that because he works for the federal government where results and efficiency are all that matters. He even blows up this poor son of a bitch multiple times before going full gravedigger on what I'm sure are stolen cars. But oh shit, they didn't expect these pathetic little trees, which everyone knows completely wreck massive armored vehicles. The worst part is that crazy Batista wasn't wearing his seatbelt and smashes his head into this massive design flaw, which somehow only hurts his shoulder. So he eats his vitamins like all good Hulkamaniacs, and now he's good to go. Lionel's had about enough of this shithole, so decides to just blow it up. We set on a short fuse and we get out of here. And if anyone asks, play stupid, aka standard protocol. Boom, we win. Now we get the dramatic showdown between Batista and Russell, where the loser has to spend their final moments stuck here with these stupid kids. The stakes couldn't be higher. Things are going great for Batista when, oh shit, he's about to get crushed, but he thinks fast and face blocks it like a boss. Then he throws Russell through a window 
which seems to just make him sad because the darkness he vowed to never let out again is now his only option. So he tells him, boy, it sure is raining cats and dogs. That's the face of someone who knows they're about to get their sh** wrecked. Henry Swanson's his name, and excitement is his motherfucking game. So this is what it feels like to get fucking Swanson. He shows him once and for all that his ass isn't deductible, is it? Now he just has that pesky bomb to take care of that's shaped like an American hating soccer ball for maximum insult. If they were having second thoughts, those ended the second they found Willow spying on them, and now they all agree this must be done. Refusing to take any chances of a Willow season two, and because it's San Francisco, Lionel heads out there and detonates the bomb personally for the good of all mankind. Now that Russell's been through some shit, he's a changed man and decides to give the little guy a good home. He lets him know that even though he can't see it, at the center of that galaxy is a massive black hole. Trust him, you're gonna love it. 